everybody knows that math teachers have some of the best in-class games that get kids excited and enjoying doing math while not even really knowing that they're doing it. Buzz is one of my favorite math games to play in the classroom when we have a little bit of downtime and get the kids excited, having fun, and working together. So let me explain this game. Hopefully it's something you can take into your classroom and you enjoy it yourself. Also, I encourage you to play with your kids. This one is one of my favorites. Okay, Buzz, how does it work? It's quite simple. You're gonna want a small group of kids. I have RTI classes, so a lot of times I'm only working with five or six students at a time, so it's very helpful for me to play this game. Um, if you have a large group, just break them up into separate groups and let them play in their own little corners of the classroom. Okay, everything is based off of sevens in this game. So you wanna think of your multiples of seven, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, etc. Okay, those are your multiples of seven. And then you wanna think of your numbers that have a seven in them. Seven, 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, etc. Okay, numbers with a seven in it or multiples of seven. So obviously we're gonna be getting some good multiplication skills with our students when we're asking them to think about multiples of seven. So how does the game play? Quite simple. Kids just gotta count. They just gotta count in a circle. Tell them that, that's easy. We can all do that. You gotta be fast paced though. Everything is quick, quick pace. If a kid hesitates or takes too long knowing what to say and they're not ready to go right away, you can tell them the game's over, we start over again at zero and we're gonna try again. But you gotta keep them going at a fast pace. That's how this game works. So, first kid, let's say we're gonna start going clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you hit one of these numbers, multiples of seven or numbers with a seven in it, the word is buzz. You do not say the number. Instead, you say buzz. And when you say buzz, you switch direction. Okay. So if we were counting clockwise, this kid now says six, seven is instead said as buzz. And now we're going counterclockwise. So this kid right here needs to be prepared and ready to say eight right away. One, two, three, four, five, six, buzz eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, et cetera. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna play a quick round with you. Watch me as I play it. Hopefully it makes sense and it's something you can take into your classroom. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, buzz. This kid would then say eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is a multiple, so we're gonna say buzz. 14 here was the buzzword, 15, 16, uh-oh, we're gonna have a uh, 17, which would be a buzz. 18, 19, 20, buzz. 21 is a multiple, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and this is where it gets fun, okay? When kids get to this point and they get the hang of it and they get to 26, then they start to realize, wait a second, 26, 27 is a buzz. So now we gotta change direction back here, but 28 is a buzz as well. Meaning we gotta go back this way for 29. This was a 27, this was a 28. This number has a seven in it, that's a multiple of seven. 29, 30, 31, and so forth. Okay, remember, challenge your kids to go fast. Challenge them to get into the 70s. Once you get into the 70s, good luck. That's where it gets really tricky. But I've had some groups that have started out really poorly with this. And then at the end of the day or at the end of the lesson or just practicing it for 10, 15 minutes, they really start to get the hang of it. You're gonna have a lot of laughing going on. You're gonna have kids having fun. They're gonna be engaging with each other for sure. It's one of my favorite games to play. And I encourage you as a teacher to jump in and get involved with them. All right, hopefully you can take this in your classroom. Good luck.